What's going on everybody? It's that iPhone Guy 12 and I have a really great video for you right now. I have actually just installed iOS 6 Beta 1 onto my iPhone 4S and I'm just going to give you a quick demo of some of the new features that are in this, this new version of iOS. So as you can see we do have a new stock wallpaper. I just updated this and I haven't changed anything to it. So of course we have the slide to unlock on the lock screen as well as the camera to go right there. And uh, I actually just gave you a sneak peek of some of the changes right there. You can see some color differences. But let's go ahead and get into the meat of it first. So on the home screen right here, you can see that, of course, we have the new Passbook app. If we open that, you can uh, manage all of the different things that it lets you do. We have boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. I don't have any in here, um, of course. And I'm not even sure if it's going to let me click on anything just yet. It may still be under development. It doesn't seem like it's responding to any of my touches, but uh, this is a beta version, so I'm guessing that that is what it's supposed to do. So let's go into the maps to start out with right here. As you can see, it is completely different. I'm going to search an address. Let's just go with the Eiffel Tower. Right there. And let's go into the 3D view. It has a 3D button right there, as you can see. So if I click that 3D view, and maybe if I zoom in, uh, I'm not really sure how all of this functions just yet. Uh, here we go. Here's the flyover view, I think. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure how any of this works at all. I don't guess that it has some of those cities on it yet. Maybe I can go to one that they demonstrated at the Apple Keynote, New York city right here if I can get it New York City and maybe now if I go into the 3d view it'll do that if I go on in here 3d view eh, still doesn't look like we're getting much in here so that's a little bit of a bummer but I'm sure that it will be released in some future betas coming up um, some all, some other things that I noticed inside of the messages app you do have some new colors up here just a different sort of color scheme it's a different shade of blue um, inside of the camera as you can see photo stream of course I'm not gonna allow that the bottom uh, where you take your pictures is now instead of it being silver it's now black so that looks nice I just took a picture there let's go into the photos um, this looks pretty much identical so some of the uh, the new Siri features I'll try one of those out Well, what was the score of the last Thunder game? Let's see if we can read this. The Thunder defeated the Spurs by a score of 107 to 99 last Wednesday. The Spurs and, are out of wow. the playoffs. That's actually really neat. As you can see, I asked at the score of the Oklahoma City Thunder game, and it told me the Thunder defeated the Spurs by a score of 107-99 to last Wednesday, and the Spurs are out of the playoffs. That's exactly what happened. Let me try one more thing. When do the Reds play again? Of course, I'm talking about the, the Cincinnati Reds. Reds. Tigers game was on June 10, 2012, 8.05 p.m. Well, that was yesterday. Maybe I can get a future game. When do the Cincinnati Reds next play? The Reds. Indians game is June 12, 2012. And that 7, is... 10 p.m. That's one day from the day that I'm recording this video, so that's tomorrow, and of course, the, the time that I'm recording this video. That is just extremely cool. I'm going to do one more test with this new Siri. Well, actually, two. What is Joey Votto's batting average? This is another one that they demonstrated Here's at the keynote. On tap in the MLB for tomorrow. Well, that's not quite it, Siri. What is Joey Votto's batting average? Here's what's on tap in the MLB for tomorrow. All right, it's thinking tomorrow. I'm saying it's, it thinks that I'm saying Votto, but I'm saying Votto. Guess I'm not picking it. Here's an easier one. What is Jay Bruce's batting average? Jay Bruce has a batting average of 265. There we go. That That's just awesome. Let's see. We, we can see that he has 57 games played, 204 at-bats, and a 265 batting average. So come on, pick it up, Jay. Uh, but anyways, let's do this final test. Of course, you know if you watch the keynote, then Apple partnered with Yelp as well as uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm going to try one of these. 
Where can I watch Marvel's The Avengers? I don't see any theaters near you. That's because I live in a small town. Woohoo. All right, let me see this. What are a good place? Ooh. Botch that one. What are some good places to eat around me? I found 15 restaurants fairly close to you. I've sorted them by rating. All right, well, that's pretty cool. So those are some of the new Siri features. Um, also released today, uh, I'm not really sure what all's in there, but as you can see, I am on iOS 6. Oh, right, that's not, that's right. The Do Not Disturb feature is on the front page of the Settings app. As you can see, there's some more color scheme changes up there. So if I flick that on, I'm guessing that, uh, well, there's something you can see. Right next to the time in the status bar, there's a picture of a moon. And uh, when I disable that, it goes off. So what that, what that uh, does, the Do Not Disturb button, is makes it so when you are sleeping, you can set it to Do Not Disturb. And it will basically ignore all notifications that you might get during the middle of the night. You're still going to receive them, but your uh, phone isn't going to make a sound or vibrate. Or the screen won't even light up, so you can just stay through your sleep. Also down here, something new is the privacy, location services, contacts. Um, not really sure what this is. I think that this is where you can make it to, uh, excuse me, even if you are on do not disturb mode, that if you set a contact for this, then they will, the call will still come through. So other than that, it just looks like we have a couple aesthetic changes. Not really sure what else there is to, uh, discuss, but if there is anything else that I notice, I will of course make a new video. Let me see if there's any other more wallpapers. And is it just me, or does that settings app look kind of different? I mean, it looks sort of the same, it just looks sort of more enhanced. I don't know, maybe that's just me. So let me click in here, some wallpapers. Of course, we have one new, one stock new one, as I already showed you. Um, and now the iPad 2 wallpaper. No, that's the one that we just saw. So that's a nice new one. There's the one from the iPad 2, or the, the new iPad, excuse me. Um, the iOS 4 one. So it looks like the only new ones that we're getting are these two. I'm not sure if that was in 5.1.1. Um, I'm just going to show you again that I am on iOS 6 right here. About. And iOS 6. Build 10A5316K. So that is it for this video. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe for more iOS 6 coverage. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again.